Hi, my name is Chris, aka The Philosopher's Games, and these are my first thoughts after seeing both episodes of The Rings of Power, and I thought I'd just record them and make a very short video out of this, so people know what my initial thoughts were and maybe how they change over time and so on. So the first thing I thought when seeing episode 1 was, oh boy, it's really a pity that they don't have the rights for the Silmarillion, because it feels like not having those is holding them back. Like, they showed so many interesting things that a lot of people greatly desire to see um, from from the books come to, to life, and knowing that it's kind of almost feels like a missed opportunity at times. So, still, there's a lot, and they try to make the best out of what is in The Lord of the Rings written and what they could get permission for. So, from this perspective, um, I can still respect the effort uh, quite a lot and overall I can definitely see why so many people are so positive about what they have seen so far and I have to say production wise and how it's made cinematography and so on is absolutely beautiful like it's really good in these regards how good everything is how good the story is how the, there are like four different story arcs that will um, evolve through the seasons I assume and we will see where this will lead. There are some things I really liked, some stuff I probably didn't like too much. I have to say I'm really still skeptical, like a lot really really skeptical about the stranger and who he might be or not. It that's it's not after seeing these episodes, at least for me it's still not clear. I'm currently doing some research here and there to try figure something out. He says uh, Ure Mana Ure means fire, mana means what is, and it's Quenya. So he speaks Quenya. I don't know. I mean, Sauron definitely could speak Quenya, and he's an insanely powerful being that is absolutely clear. And yeah, I don't know. He has a weird vibe to him. Sauron could speak Quenya because he also disguised as an ambassador of the West. And at, at one point... And so to do this, he need to know the language. So that is for sure. El, um, Gandalf, Saruman, Radagast, Blue Wizards would also be able to speak this language. As a result, we have a good chance that it's any of those. Like, I don't see any others. I would ex I, I'm not sure if Tom Bombadil could speak Quenya. I assume he could. At least he had a name of the elves, but maybe not. That's really hard to tell. And then there are not that many um beings left that could this be so i don't know it's from my perspective yeah a clear case that i currently pondering a lot about and yeah really interesting some other details like galadriel sailing to the west so early in the second age seems also strange to me i still we still discussed this why i don't think she went um where she's going to go. Don't want to spoil here too much, but it's, yeah, I don't know. It's it's also a detail I didn't like. Though, besides these contradictions to the books and these liberties the people who wrote this made, I can definitely see the efforts oozing in every corner of this show. Like, there are quotes and a lot of Peter Jackson references, like, really, really a lot of them, and it's a joy seeing them. There are so many little details. I don't even know where to start. Like, it's so much I can't even currently think of anything because I'm kind of overwhelmed by how many details there are that we will look at and have to, I don't know, bring into context. Like, ordering my thoughts right now will be uh, the biggest challenge for me. And I feel like I definitely have to do a rewatch of the show. Um, absolute definitely. So maybe that is what we are doing in a moment, because I feel like I still need time to process. Like, it is just too much information, two episodes in my head. I really need to go through it, see it again, this time um, <laughs> with subtitles. I have to uh, watch it in English, and I understand, I understand pretty much most of things, but when the accents got really thick, I got <laughs> kind of problem following what they were saying, so... I have some uh, blank pages still. But um, yeah, overall, I 
really enjoyed. I can definitely see why everybody was so positive about this show. It has huge potential in my opinion, though there's also a missed opportunity for not giving them more rights to just portray the really cool stuff. And like every time they, they hint at, yeah, there's this cool stuff there in the background and we know it exists, but we don't have the rights for it. So we can't name it or um, tell you more about it. And that is unfortunate in my opinion. Still, I have to say, I'm uh, my first reaction is also really positive on this show. I'm still very curious how um, all of this will work out in the end and connect how interesting the story is. It might be that having these arcs, sometimes the arcs switched and all the arcs are interesting, but I want to follow that specific arc a little bit more. That's, I guess, a good sign in, in a way. Very curious how much these arcs branch out and connect again and so on will be very interesting to see. Um, currently, I'm yeah, very curious where they're going with, with everything. And it will be like, yeah, just getting the references made in this, um, in this show was just a tremendous amount of work, I feel. Very, like the language details. For example, I forgot what it was called, but um, just the detail, just to, to give you what I appreciate. I'm, you know, I like languages too, and I cover a lot of Tolkien language details. For example, sadly, I forgot how it's called. Something like a Sigil Tarak or something like this. I think the second word is Tarak, a dwarvish word. And the actor didn't roll the R, he said the throat R. And Tolkien writes in Appendix E that, yeah, that is how dwarves at some point started to pronounce the R. So they didn't, um, they wouldn't say, um, I don't know, I don't know, Tarak, they would say Tarak. And almost like, I can say it quite well because it's how in German uh, the, a is, uh, the R is pronounced. So it, it, that's just such a small detail and um, it's, I really appreciate details like this, I have to admit. Like language details always make me happy. So um, yeah, before this video gets far too long and um, just see it as a little, I don't know, first impression recording just off the bat without any, without much preparation. Um, yeah, so I hope I get this little first impression video out really soon. I try to avoid spoilers. Thank you people for watching. Maybe if you like this, check my other content. There is definitely more on this channel. Check the Galadriel video on my channel in case you definitely um, want to know more about this character. We only are in the first age with her still. There will be more parts to this um, video. So don't worry about spoilers, I guess. And yeah, also press a like button, leave a comment, Tell me what you thought about the show. I'm very curious um, about that. And um, maybe subscribe or recommend me to other people who like Tolkien. Would be much appreciated. So thank you for watching. See you next time or in a moment in the stream.